Business Herb Dean is our referee tonight. All right, ready to go with live action here from Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi. This has become a destination for fighters across the UFC and an opportunity for several of our best to showcase their skills here tonight. It's just everything about the environment here. Fates upstairs and lands flush to the body. They land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Double leg shot. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. 
Pops is up now and lands a vicious head strike. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. You see, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing. Look at him dig that arm shot right up to his opponent's third. Great job moving it to his opponent and get it to that single crowd. Nice liver shot lands. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice. Nicely done. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice job there by GSP. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there on top. Slips the left hand. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Wow. Actually got the kick now. And there's the single. Marco Medoff's pass is denied. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Nice punch to the head. Wide late round action here, and George St. Pierre continuously working off of that jab tonight. It's a beautiful jab, John. I mean, I remember watching him fight Josh Koscheck, he broke his orbital bowl with the first jab. The guy is a tremendous striker. That takedown attempt without issue. Round two next. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Nurmagomedov's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, we will now re-rack some of the highlights for you from that previous round. We'll try to find the shot that caused the cut above his eye that is now leaking significantly down and compromising his vision. Yep, there it is, the one that landed that really opened him up. That cut is in a bad spot, Yeah. Too, right over the eye. So that blood starts to leak down. It starts to really impair the vision. It's gonna be on his opponent to try and circle away from the power while not going in to circle away from the power to allow for himself to have a chance to still win this fight. Oh, two hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end Nurmagomedov's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a story run that continues as this fight rolls on. He loaded up there on the head kick. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Trouble here. GSP gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good. Oh, oh still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, he's got oh. back to the feet. Oh. 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 Huge left. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get it. Oh! He's wobbling now. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. I mean, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. 
Also, looked like maybe the fighter had defended that properly. Looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finisher position. Oh, that is going to do it. That's going to be it. Whoa, submission defense. He gets out. In that moment, it looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mouth. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped with half of an arm. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, right now, what a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see what happens. For him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good. You're fine right now. You got tripped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Looks like he raises the ball. on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joel!